hello boys today's topic is mountains so we study about the mountain a hill is a mass of land considerably higher than the surrounding area a steep sided hill over 600 meter high is called a mountain or you can say mountains are huge masses of land that rises much above the surrounding areas to great heights they are added they are made from rocks and earth they occupy about 1/4 of the total land area of the earth some mountains are also found under the sea mountains rise to great heights in comparison to their surrounding peaks now the top the mountain tops are known as peak a peak may be pointed or rounded depending upon the age of the mountain the base of mountain is generally white mountains have steep sloping sides and sharp and slightly rounded ridges and peaks mountains may be rocky and barren some have trees growing on their sides very high mountains have snow peak on their peaks mountains have slopes that run from the peak to the base most of the mountains are in the form of mountain ranges a mountain ranges is a system of mountains and hills having peaks and valleys arranged in a line stretching over hundreds of kilometers many parallel long and narrow ranges are together called a mountain range for example himalayas now on the basis of origin the mountains are of three types fold mountains block mountains and volcanic mountains now before reading about all these three mountains uh, i like to tell you ki how mountains are important to us mountains form a natural boundary between the countries for example the himalayas are a natural boundary between india and china rivers originate from mountains we draw water from the rivers for irrigation electricity generation and navigation renewable energy from the mountain promote economic development especially in rural areas dense vegetation and woodlands are found in the mountains forests give us timber dense vegetation provides a habitat for animals pasture lands are found in the mountains where sheep and cattle graze mountains serve as an ideal center for tourism and mountain sports like trekking climbing skiing paragliding and water rafting mountains influence regional as well as global weather conditions and climate now we study about the main types of mountain that are fold mountains block mountains and volcanic mountain so first is coming fold mountain fold mountain consist of great masses of folded sedimentary rocks whose thickness is often as much as 12 km or more fold mountains are formed along convergent boundaries the comprehensional force causes the layer of the rocks to buckle and fold this process is known as folding the upholds of anticyclines become the mountains and the downfold or the cyclines become the valleys so we can also say that horizontal comprehension results in the formation of upholds called anticyclines and downfolds called cyclines Four mountains comprise the largest and the most complex system. The Himalayas were formed by this process of horizontal compression or folding when the Indian plates collided with the Eurasian plates. Young and fold mountains, newly formed or young fold mountains are higher and have more rugged features like pointed peaks. steeps and deep slopes 
For example, Andes, Rockies, Alps and the Himalayas are the example of young fold mountains. These were formed during the last few million years. However, weathering and erosion attack fold mountains as soon as they begin to form. Mountains whose peaks have eroded away and become rounded are lower in height than the newly form formed mountains are called the old fold mountains. Now, examples of old fold mountain are the Appalachian, Urals and Aravallis. Now, coming to the block mountain. Block mountains and drift valleys are formed when the surface of the earth is cracked apart by tectonic plates moving away. When parallel cracks or falls occur, blocks of earth between the falls may be raised or lowered. Block mountains may be formed in two ways. First is when two roughly parallel falls occur, the block of earth between them may be raised forming a steep sided mountain. Second one is a block mountain may also be formed by the sinking of crust on either side of the two parallel falls. This means that a block mountain can be found between two rift valleys. The Vosges, the Black Forest and the Vindhyas are block mountains formed in this way. So you can see in this picture that the Sierra Nevada in the North America is an example of uplifted block fault mountain. When two roughly parallel faults occur, the crust between long and parallel cracks or fault may sink forming narrow steep sided valleys. The great rift valley of Africa, the valley of the river Rhine between the Vosges mountain and the black forest and the Narmada valleys between the Vindhyas and Satpura ranges in India are all rift valleys. Next is volcanic mountain. When a volcano has erupted many times, it may be built up a tall cone shaped mountain. It may be noted that not all volcanoes form tall mountains. Example Fusiana in Japan, Mount Egmont in New York and Mount Kilimanjaro in Africa. So these mountains are also known as mountains of accumulation because these have been formed by the erosion or the deposition of lava. At the time of volcanic eruption, lava is thrown out and deposited around the crater to form a mountain. Now, when we see about the uh, when we see mountains and hills, then we feel that people are so happy in their mountains, those who are living in mountains and hills, but they are also facing some difficulties, which are, first is the rugged mountain terrain makes transportation and physical communication very difficult. When we see that on planes easily, we can uh, provides a, a transportation system but in hills it's very difficult for getting the conveyance to move here and there. Secondly farming is also not always possible due to the steep slopes and lack of good soil. Also during certain parts of the year the climate may be very harsh and unfavorable as such herding is preferred to the crop growing. Now, when we are facing some difficulties uh, of mountain life, so there are also very beneficial things also usefulness of mountains to humans are also there. First is mountain rocks such as granite, marble and limestone are good building material. Mining is an important occupation in mountain areas which have rich mineral deposits of copper, tin, gold, silver, aluminium, platinum and iron. Some precious stones like diamond, 
rubies, opals and sapphires are found in mountain areas. Forests on the lower mountain slopes provide wood for fuel, for construction and for paper making. Mountain slopes are often used for farming. Wine yards and tea plantations go well on mountain slopes. Mountains are a storehouse of water. The fast flowing rivers are sometimes used to make electricity. The water is also used for irrigation. Sheep, cows, goats can feed and grow on the mountain pastures. The scenic beauty, clean air and the climate attract tourists and also encourages sports like skiing and mountain climbing. So this was the topic of today's. In next topic, we will study about the valley. Thank you boys.